Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here real quick. Um, so I found a Facebook page. I do not have a Facebook page, you guys. I only have Instagram. I have Twitter, which I don't know my password anymore, but I do have Twitter. <laughs> um, so I was uh, roaming around Facebook and I found somebody made a page and I was like, oh, cool. You know, that helps my channel, helps my videos. I was like, cool, somebody is out there sharing my videos and helping me but then i was like you know what i should create a page because they have a community page made uh they use my icon girl you know what let me flip this around and show you because they do have people following them a little over a thousand do not follow this page do not leave them anything personal uh let me show you okay you guys so this is the page i'm talking about i have this here because I do have like my own little family personal Facebook page, but not anything to do with my YouTube or anything like that. So this page is a community page. Um, and it has a little bit over 1,000 people follow it. A little over 1,000 people like it. So they made a community page and at first I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh cool. But then when I click on the video, normally when you click on a video on Facebook, it takes you to that direct link, which would be my youtube channel so they're just downloading it so if you click marshall's deals you can't click on it it would just if i click on it you're just going to get a bigger screen and then um yeah they're just taking my videos and downloading it which i don't know see how it's typed right here i don't type like that i don't use underscores or anything like that so i am a little ticked off i'm not gonna lie well, I am very ticked off because A, they have a little bit of following and you know what? I've been trying to make a Facebook page for the past two days and uh, Facebook keeps deleting my page. Facebook is calling me a fraud when I'm trying to create a page for my YouTube channel when I found out, oh, they're just downloading, not giving me any credit or anything like that. So if you're following this page, don't leave them any information. And that is my fear. Somebody leaving them information, maybe somebody asking, hey, if I paid you, can you pick this up for me? And I don't do that. Sometimes if I do that, I just do it for free if I find it. Um, I've done that before in the past. But do not give this page any of your info. And that is my fear, that they will kind of ruin my little, you know, my little group I have on YouTube. Because they're just, I don't know what the purpose of this uh, this is, but it's not helping my channel. There's no links. And if they're trying to get handouts or companies to hand them items, that's what really bugs me. So that's why I decided to make this video, because I didn't want to talk about it. But then when I try to create my Facebook page... I got kicked off twice and I'm banned from my page I tried to made. And then I made another one and then Facebook is being a little weird. They say they want me to send a picture of my um, driver's license. I'm like, for what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this is just for my YouTube channel to help spread my videos. So I'm not going to give Facebook any of my personal information. So there you guys have it. Do not trust this Facebook page. I do not have one. <laughs> um, I do have one that you might, I was leaving the message. It has a picture of Goofy on it. That's just um, how to create something so I could, um, you know, tell them to stop uploading my videos. Other than that, all I have is Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So I cannot make a Ray's World Facebook page because they took it. And I'm considered a fraud. So I don't know how to get rid of this. If you guys know how to take them down or whatever, like help me out because I tried. And when I tried, like I said, I got blocked. I thank you for the continued support on my channel. Um, I have been re-uploading like old, old videos um, that got um, copyright claim. I ha actually, this whole quarantine, staying at home, made me look into my videos more because normally I really don't get into them. Um, I have a lot of videos that got a copyright claim due to, you know, store music. You know how YouTube is. And that's why sometimes you have to play music. Like even if I would talk, I might have to play a little soft music in the background to kind of cover up the store music. So I've been have 
re-uploading I've been had makes no sense but I've been re-uploading some older videos and kind of mashing them together um, with other videos that got um, copyright claim so I know a lot of people say they don't get um, notified when I upload videos and all I could tell you is that you have to hit the bell icon and I know I'm supposed to say that in my videos I'm supposed to say please like share subscribe and hit that bell and the only reason why I don't because I feel like sometimes when you say that all the time I feel like it kind of comes like ungenuine does that make sense you know what I mean I can't afford somebody to watch my videos I mean I would love if everybody was to watch my videos and hit the bell button but I can't force you but if you're not receiving any notifications you have to hit the little bell icon and then it lets you know do you want to get notified on this channel yes or no you know um, but I would love it so a lot of people been asking me that question and to tell me to say like um, again I don't say like because I also feel like it's ungenuine if you're gonna say it every day I feel like eh, you know but I'm still gonna make videos whether people like it or not <laughs> So, um, and that is really why I came on here to try to make a quick video. I don't want to ramble forever because you don't see my face and that is still an issue, a topic. A lot of people are like, oh, you're going to show your face and I'm sorry, I'm not. This is just how I do things over here. You may see my daughter pop up in videos because she's been asking me and she can make videos, you know, she has friends. So, you know, they're 12, you know what I mean? Um, so we'll see, you know, I don't care. Um... Also, you guys, a little life update. So, when I made that family uh, dollar general, is that what it's called? <laughs> I really don't go in there that much, but um, I did find a Lysol toilet paper and things I needed, which I didn't have in a long time. Oh my gosh, my hands are so dry, you guys. Oh my gosh, my hands are so dry now. Um, I keep a little spray bottle in my car with alcohol. And I just spray my hands every time I leave somewhere, you know what I mean? Spraying my phone. It's just like, we're, you know, we're kind of overdoing it. But we have to, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, my hands are really yucky. Anyway, so when I made that video, I put a little disclaimer of why I was in there. And I'm, how do I say it without like trying to sound mean or anything like that? I kind of don't want to put disclaimers anymore. We are grown adults and if somebody you know wants to go to Target, even if they're not buying anything or to browse, who am I to judge what they do? You know what I mean? So we are grown adults. I feel like if you're thinking you're staying safe, wearing a mask, washing your hands, it's all about washing your hands, um, you know, then go for it. So. I'm just kind of tired of trying to tell people why I'm at the store. We all have to go to a store. We all have like to look for TP, again, all that good stuff because toilet paper in my area, you guys, it ain't happening. It ain't happening unless I wake up really early to head to Walmart. <laughs> and I avoid Walmart um, during the day. Walmart for me at nighttime is pretty much empty during the day it is so so crowded in Walmart I just like eh no um so when I go out I only go out like maybe once a week or twice a week because I do still have to run my own personal errands I'm not working I haven't worked since like the beginning of March and my husband is self-employed and that's a little different I don't want to really get into that but he's not working, so that sucks over here, you know what I mean? So if I had to mail out packages for eBay, I gotta go out anyway. Then I might step into the Dollar Tree or Target, um, you know, to make sure to see if I could find that toilet paper or any cleaning supplies. Anyway, you guys, that's my little update. And then let's talk about something else. So I kind of was all over the place, so sorry about that. So in that family dollar general store, I talked about my dog. Um, so it was really rough last month. I'm not going to lie. I was in a really, really, really bad funk. Um, I had this dog since he was a baby. My son was maybe a second grader. 
and you know my son is 16 now so that was really hard um I don't want to talk about it Ugh. okay anyway um so Baron got really really sick and we were noticing he was declining and we took him to the vet and um it was really weird because when we took him to the vet that day we had to like drop him off you cannot be with your dog like if you have to go to a vet now it's pretty much that social uh distancing role okay um they took him in they gave him like fluids and stuff like that kind of like they did that first time when i took him in and i shared so they did that i had to drop him off so in between that time i ran my errands you know and then i mean a couple days passed and i noticed he was not doing good and he it's really weird it was like a mind game because some days he was great you know i would share he's rolling on the grass rolling around he's having a time sometimes his tail would wag back and forth but he was declining and he got really congested where i saw snot in his nose and i've never seen my dog with snot in his nose ever um and then he was sleeping a lot and since i had medicine for him to help him with pain and allergies i could only put it in his food because he would not take it and i noticed he wasn't eating but he was drinking water and going to the bathroom so that was kind of a good sign right but we were looking at him every time he was asleep and he just looked awful um and you know you have to make that decision if you're going to put your dog down um you know i thought about it for like a couple days and then like one day i was looking at him when he was sleeping and i told my husband like this is he has to go um anyway uh so that was like really really hard um to make that decision and it was really but we knew we had to do it for him you know what i mean because he was asleep all the time but then when he was asleep it looked like i don't know if he was crying or you know you can't tell if your dog's in pain because he wasn't making any noise like the last noise he can't bark and he couldn't bark anymore when he would yawn you can't hear it you know so like he said like we said before we think he might have had a stroke or something or a seizure because the last time I heard him kind of do a Ugh, um, before we decided to put him down, he kind of went into stretching, standing up, and then he fell over. And that was the last noise I heard him. But I noticed when we would go walking with him, he would, he he always like does a little bark back to dogs. He doesn't even, didn't even care anymore because he couldn't even be vocal. And I would watch him sleep and his eyes would look just awful. And I had to make that decision. I said, you know what, he has to because it wouldn't be fair anymore. So <laughs> we did that. And then um, the thing is, since the whole pandemic thing is going on, um, thank goodness, because my children were with me. Thank goodness I had scars for them to cover up in the car. Um, because, um, my kids haven't been anywhere since this whole pandemic. It's just, like, me and my husband. So, we usually keep our stuff in the car. So, I kept the kids, um, scarves in our trunk. And I'm glad I had it with me. Because the lady told me that day, my husband signed him in and everything. The lady told me that day that we cannot go in unless we're covered up so that we had to put him down and then you know we left and everything like that um and then that car ride home was nothing but crying we got home um everybody was still crying you know everyone kind of did their own thing i immediately took away all the dog stuff i didn't want it anymore in the house i wanted to get rid of the food i wanted to get rid of his bed he never slept on i just gave it to my neighbor across the street because they have a dog and then I gave them the dog bed 
and we just told him what happened but bear never slept on the dog bed he always refused to sleep on dog beds <laughs> i have no idea why but um time has passed and i started to feel a lot better until i just started talking about it <laughs> and then, oh, but just want to let you know um because i had put that he had passed at the beginning of that video disclaimer so baron is gone uh, i'm not i don't have plans on getting any animals uh, my husband keeps looking at doggies on the internet and I told him to stop it, you know. I am, I don't want any animals right now and it probably won't be for like a good long time. So I just wanted to come on here and make that really quick video about that Facebook page and then we talked about my dog. <laughs> So I'm going to get off here and I will see all of you guys in the next video.